How does risk factor into games, and how do players approach it? What you can meaningfully risk comes down to player investment. How they approach it may depend on the player, but it goes without saying that without player investment, there is no meaningful risk. There was an interesting discussion a while back about players who are not concerned about the idea of their character dying. A lot of people who are GMs seem to take a great deal of offense to this. However, I would say that doesn't necessarily mean the player doesn't care about the setting or the world or has no investment in the events that happen. But it does mean that the, that the GM has to work a little bit harder to make that risk meaningful to that player. So what else can make a conflict meaningful to a player who is not concerned with their character's death? Well, what about the death of the other characters in the party? What if you place that on their head? After all, they may have a social connection with that person and realize that that person does care about their life of their character. And simply through empathy, they may be concerned with that conflict. If you're really lucky, you may have players that are concerned with the lives of NPCs in your world. This obviously requires you to build relationships, build that investment initially. But you may be able to find some shortcuts if you have a game with a weak frame and you know that players are sympathetic to a certain type of character, say a child or a certain minority group or whatever the case may be. And it has been pitched to me as well that players would never be invested in an NPC that doesn't give them a statistical advantage of some kind by giving them something to help them. But I don't really buy that. I think that players can care about NPCs. Truly. In a lot of games, the most common type of risk is harm to the player character. However, there are so many more interesting ways to do this. You could do it monetarily, politically, a balance of power, whatever the case may be, or whatever the game world happens to be about. One thing to always remember though is whatever you put at risk, you have to be willing to accept the consequences of a success or a failure. Which is why harm is often a poor decision if you want the characters to be involved in the story in the long term. Because constantly putting them in harm puts them at risk of being injured or killed on a regular basis. So the consequences don't need to be all or nothing. Obviously injury is a good result that it may not be a death, but do you want your characters to get injured all the time as well? You should also remember never to take away anything from that character that makes them unique or special. One thing I wanted to pitch in here really quick is that I realize that there's also the concept of the illusion of risk. This is something we see in real life. Uh, skydiving is a great example. It looks really dangerous, trust me, it feels really dangerous, but driving every day for a year is worse. Now, you could put this in your game but I don't know why. It does not seem interesting. Now some games handle this really well. Dogs in the Vineyard is a good example because they allow you to escalate conflicts and have a great betting mechanic to make you feel like you're really putting things on the line. Misspent Youth is also pretty good because it allows you to lay out what's important to you in this conflict, what you want to gain, what you will risk to lose, and allows you to sell out a little piece of yourself to come ahead in that conflict. My final thought on this comes back to the idea of frames. You may recall that a strong frame allows a player to feel safe, which actually seems to work against the idea of a conflict really affecting them. Which doesn't mean that your games with strong frames don't work, but you might have to work a little harder to really get a meaningful conflict in this type of game. Links for Blackboards and Minute Games are on screen and below. Video replies and comments are very welcome. And if you're interested in playing a game that I've talked about, I would like to try to open this up on Google+. There is a link for the notes as well. Thanks for watching, I hope that every game that you have is better than the last.